Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm back, your independent sales consultant for Norwex. And I want to tell you a little bit about the mop because this is one of my favorite products and honestly this is why everybody does a party so you can earn the mop for free or for heavily discounted. So here's how it works. You're going to step on this and you're going to twist it. You're going to bring the pull up between your nose and your mouth and you're going to tighten it. Now this yellow pad is going to essentially be your dusting mitt for the floor. And so you're going to use it in this figure eight motion and what it's going to do, it's going to pick up it's going to pick up the dog head, the cat hair, your head, the dust bunnies, everything. Now in our house, we've got our dogs, so it's really coated with dog hair. So what I do is you can take this rubber brush and you can go ahead and you can use this in your, and push everything in your garbage can. Now the other cool thing is, do you see how it swivels so it gets around everywhere? Well, you can lock it so it doesn't swivel. So if you have tall walls or ceilings or anything, you can go ahead and you can actually um, dust and dry mop your walls. Okay. Second, when you're done, take this off, and then you're gonna grab your wet pad. And so you're gonna get this wet just with water, just like the Enviro cloth, and you're gonna wring it out like a cinnamon roll, okay? So wring it out, throw it on the ground, and then you're, you're gonna stick it like this. And so now this is what you're gonna use to mop all of your floors. So as you can see, we've got hardwoods upstairs and downstairs, and this is what we use to mop everything in our house, just wet with water. Again, you're gonna do that figure eight motion, and what it does is it picks up that 99% of everything, holds it into the cloth, and so when you're done, you can go ahead and you can rinse it, hang it up to dry, the silver goes to work and it self cleans, and then you can step on it, twist it, put it down, and then this is all that you have to store in your house, so it's really cool. Now, I have to tell you, when I first started this, um, when I first started this, I heard of three different stories of people's animals dying from lapping up the residue from the, from the Clorox and from the Swiffer and that killed them over time. And so we just got our dog and I told him, I was like, I gotta get the Swiffer out. And so immediately that was out, this was in. And then a couple, uh, a couple of years ago, I learned that when you rub garlic on the bottom of your foot, you can actually taste it within a minute. So that's how porous the bottom of our, our feet are. So if you think about that, I used to use Swiffer, I would Swiffer, let it dry for 20 minutes, walk on it, and my feet would stick to it. Sorry, I have a one month old, so that's who you hear crying in the background. Um, but anyways, so um, the Swiffer, you know, my feet would stick to it, and so all of that would 